Hello, welcome back to the Ball Games 4K YouTube channel and this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings and we generally like to talk a load of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general. And in this video we're going to be talking about a Korean dexterity game. We're going to be talking about coconuts or crazy coconuts as is sometimes referred to. And in this game you'll be taking your plastic monkey and you'll be trying to ping your rubbery coconuts into the appropriate cup that will give you points that will allow you to win the game. So in this video we're going to be giving you a very brief overview of the rules, we're telling you what we do like, what we don't like, then we'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not coconuts is still worth your time and bother roughly about six years after it was first released. So remember if you're new here then please consider subscribing to this channel, leave a comment in that section down below. We'll see you after this. Board games, 4K. So, coconuts. How do you play this game? So, first thing you're gonna do in coconuts is you're going to set the playing area up and you notice that this game consists of yellow cups and also red cups. Red cups are special, they do have a special thing attached to them, we'll talk about that in a bit, but you'll set the cups up in a certain format dependent on how many players are playing the game. Next thing you'll do, you will give everybody a launcher, you'll give everybody eight coconuts and you'll give them a player board that you will slide up against your side of the group of cups. So there's also special cards in this game. You're going to give every player two special cards if you're playing with them and some of the special cards in this game are. You've got the guess who card and this means that you play when another player is about to shoot and that player has to make a blind shot. They may not shoot the coconut before closing their eyes. Or you might have the call the wind card. You'll play when another player is about to shoot and you may try and divert the other shot by blowing. Oh, it's also allowed to use a fan or a newspaper instead of blowing. Well, that's a novel one. I don't think I've ever seen any films with that in a view. Or you might have the aimed shot and this means when another player is about to shoot, choose one cup. If the player lands the coconut in the cup, he takes it. If he misses, then he gets nothing, even if he hits a different cup. So there's a few variations, not many different ones in here. I suppose the, the idea is to sort of spice things up a little bit, you know what I mean? Once you've set the game up, then you will start playing. You'll choose a player to go first, probably the one that looks the most like a monkey. And then you'll put the rubbery coconut in the hands of your monkey and you'll ping it down and you'll be trying to get it into one of the cups. If you do get it into one of the cups, you'll take the cup and you'll place it on your player board and you'll be stacking these cups up in like a sort of a wall and the first player to complete three levels of the wall so you'll have three two one cups will be the winner of coconuts if you happen to get your coconut into a red cup then you will be able to have another go and this is sort of a cumulative thing so you will be able to go for another red cup and another red cup and get extra chances to get cups onto your player board. You're also allowed to aim at other players cups so if you're playing with somebody that you really really hate their guts then you can always aim at their cup if you want to. So if you run out of coconuts you'll be able to grab coconuts that have landed outside the cups and the game ends officially when there's no coconuts available or somebody manages to build the third level of their cup wall so to speak and if you do that then you'll be the winner of coconuts so what do we like about coconuts so the first thing that we really like about this game is that the red cups add a hesitant to say extra layer of depth because it's not really depth is it but it gives you something else to aim for if you know what i mean so if it was just the yellow cups that you'd be aiming for you'd just be pinging and hoping for the best but the allure of the red cups really does add a little bit of spice to this dexterity game so the next thing that we really like about this game is that it suits all ages and i mean all ages my three-year-old daughter but she's now four but she could play this when she was three when she, maybe when she was two she could play it and okay she didn't really know what she was doing obviously but she knew how to ping the coconut from the monkey's hands right and the fact that these monkeys are sort of quite cute in a sense you know it, like, it sort of appeals to children as well so yeah the fact that i can play this with my three-year-old daughter and also my 300 year old grandmother it's fantastic so the next thing 
that we really like about this game is that the monkeys and generally most of the components all bar the really flimsy cards and the, the crappy sort of wobble board Rolf Harris style fireballs that the monkeys and the coconuts are made exceptionally well the monkeys are very very sturdy they've taken a batter in my kids have played this they've played cricket and baseball with the monkeys and they've survived so yeah the component quality in this Korean dexterity game is absolutely superb so the next thing we really like about coconuts is that you can expand this game it's got an expansion well it's sort of like a standalone expansion but there's a standalone expansion called coconuts duo and it's exactly the same thing but it gives you either enough components to play with one other person or you can add those components to a regular version of coconuts and you can extend it to up to six players and it may be if you add two coconuts duos or two boxes of this you could play up to eight so the fact the game is expandable for larger groups is super so what don't we like about coconuts so the first thing that we don't like about this game is that the coconuts themselves tend to get a life of their own. You can't really be 100% sure which direction these little rubbery coconuts are going to go. And more often than not, they tend to bounce all over the place. They might hit the sides of the cups and then bounce. And you're constantly having to pick these buggers up from the floor. And they do tend to bounce around like Tigger on crack. So the second thing that we don't like about coconuts is that the game can go on for that little bit too long if you follow the official official if you follow the rules in the rule book the game tells you that if you run out of coconuts and you've got to pick some up that haven't gone into the cups and this tends to make the game drag on for that little bit too long what we usually do is maybe give people an extra couple of coconuts maybe 10 coconuts and then once you run out of coconuts that's it and the player with the most levels or the most coconuts in those cups in their levels will win the game so that sort of makes the game that little bit more digestible when it comes to duration you know what i mean so the next thing we don't like about coconuts is that these special cards suck there really is no real point in adding a dose of take that into a dexterity game the game's hard enough as it is without someone trying to blow you coconut off course right so to summarize is coconuts still worth your time and bother six years after it was first released i think it was 2014 but might be wrong about that whatever and we're going to say yes this is without doubt one of our favorite dexterity games of all time it is absolutely fantastic it's novel you know the fact that you've got these spring-loaded monkeys is good fun for kids and maybe adults maybe big kids like me and it's actually surprisingly deep you've got a good selection of places to aim for you can aim for the easy cups the yellow cups you can aim for the red cups and you can also aim for other people's cups right so that keeps the game moving it keeps it fresh and we really do enjoy this game the build quality is absolutely fantastic and just just the whole general feel of this game is absolutely superb so if you like dexterity games coconuts should definitely definitely be in your collection we are never going to get rid of this it always keeps getting dragged out and uh yeah we can't recommend coconuts highly enough so there you go that's coconuts remember if you are new here please remember to subscribe to this channel leave a comment in that section down below we'll see you next time